Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BT TV. I am here with designer Darius Wobel, hey, and this is fabulous. You have the VIP crowd. Everything is going on. It is Fashion Week. Talk about your collection, the inspiration for this particular collection. Oh dear, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I, I actually last season it wasn't so much of um, it was uh, the, uh, the more texturized where I was going. This season. I try my hands to different things. I think what's going to be one of the biggest hit throughout the collection is uh, the um, the Grecian goddess theme. I kind of chose somewhere along the line. I went for part medieval, part retro, and kind of did some blend because some of the things in the men collection, like some of the sweaters I did, I use very hard knit fabrics, and I kind of put them together to give them very stiff look, so you give that little fantasy of being very warm. And then I had to use some chain mill to make it look very medieval at the same time. The Grecian goddess feel, I, I will leave that to your interpretation because it's always worked that well whenever I've done it. So I, this was the first time I had to incorporate a great deal of Grecian goddess in um, my collection. Also, I kind of went with, for some bold colors for intros and stuff like that as well. Well, it sounds amazing. Now, tell me a little bit about growing up as far as inspiration. I understand your mom worked for Oscar de la Renta or something yes, like that. and that. What did, how did that help with your creativity? Because seeing her, I'm sure, with beautiful and wonderful gowns and stuff like that from Oscar. Talk a little bit about how that inspired you. My, mom, my mother was not uh, the gown designer. She was one of the those who did belts and the stuff. Usually, most designers subcontract to other people. And uh, what happened? So we'll bring that in to and we'll subcontract other people. Say so it came down. It was like a second job she was doing, but she did more work on the belts and applicates and stuff on most of the gowns. And this was like back in the 80s. I was still a child. So all I knew was not to get close to the machine or don't touch this. And uh, yeah, mom is with the iron now. Don't touch this. Mom is packing this box. Hold the box. Let daddy push this together for you. That's what it was. But uh, I grew up in a very fashion surrounded because there was always fashion magazine when I went to visit my auntie. From, my auntie was a model in Paris as well. My mom was a beauty queen. She was a model who came to this state from West Africa for her education. At the same time, she had me after she graduated college. So I was always around things that were very, very fascinating as far as beauty and art goes. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it grew from there. And I've always loved the whole creative crazy the creative craziness all the craziness that come with creativity the, you know you, when you get too genius with the there's a line you have with, I get to build a balance well because you know I got people like you and you know to keep me grounded who would keep me in check so yeah I'm not afraid to go beyond what I was taught or what I learned well, you always do a wonderful collection talk just a bit because I know we have some other people waiting and they're you know they want to talk to you but I just want to get in a little bit about traveling I know that traveling sometimes helps with like creativity and all that sort of stuff absolutely. and you have traveled quite a bit yeah, throughout absolutely. your whole life so how does that absolutely. inspire you I will tell you this I was born in Buffalo New York and I'm the only I'm one of the few people who tell people you know I'm born in Buffalo nobody talks about Buffalo anymore That's born okay. in Buffalo New York I grew up in London and uh, my dad's from West Africa, Ghana. My, my mom, father's side are Nigerians. And then I have the Native American heritage. It's a, I'm like a glass of martini, a mixture of a bunch of stuff. So but one of the best part of the whole thing is that whenever I travel to visit fa uh, family, even one of the funniest things was my father was an airliner. He ran an airline. So the benefit of being able to go to school in Ghana and live in London and go to Liberia and go to Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. And then I used to model along when I was in my teens in, in, um, in London for, for Levi's and Coca-Cola Coca -Cola and some of the stuff. Go to Paris. So I learned to speak French and multilingual. The more you see how people are dressed and interact with each other, how to respond to things they do, definitely you, you do pick up on those things and they stick with you. So the art of draping and comfortability, how to express what women want, what women think, is very, very much part of how I was brought up. So it stuck with me for, for that long. Yeah, it does help with creativity. I would say it's an advantage. Okay, I know. I can't wait to see this collection. Oh, We're so excited. We have a lot of people waiting for him, so we got to let him go. Sophia Davis reporting for BTE TV, and we'll be right back in just a moment.